So right now what I'm doing, um, I'm finally cutting the OEM quarter panels on the S14. The reason I actually don't feel too bad about cutting them is because um, they, they've been a little bit dented from before. The person I got it from before, uh, I, I believe you hit like a little, uh, like a center post uh, whenever you're, you're parking and stuff like that. So you kind of caved it in a little bit. It's not too bad, but I mean, it's kind of from like, it was started from like right here all the way to over here. So that's the reason I actually felt more comfortable going with the over, over fenders. But right now, uh, well actually yesterday, I cut up one side. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the other one right now because I actually got a second job to do at the moment. Um, lately, I've been taking up some little bit of uh, side work. Mostly um, like color matching stuff and then like helping people either install like, you know, little stuff that they can't really do themselves and stuff like that. So <clears throat> recently, um, I did my friend Cody's uh, full type X kit, painted it like a... I think it's called Super White, which is the OEM color for a Nissan 240SX. Um, so I did his. I did some other guys from Bumper with the rest of his kit. I think it was just, a, I think it was just the front and sides. But I colored that match. I color matched that for his uh, for his 350Z. And um, after that, uh, I helped another guy actually install his kit too as well. So I've been doing little stuff while I can. And uh, I actually just painted the S13. I didn't really get that on film because uh, you know we're inside the garage and it's really uh, it gets really cloudy and uh, the overspray and everything is kind of hard to film and I either don't want to ruin the camera and I don't want to keep stopping in between coats trying to uh, explain what I'm doing so maybe when I paint the S14 I'm gonna have someone film me as I'm doing it so I can give you guys some type of tips that I personally take and actually came out pretty decent for it being a you know a garage a garage. Uh, you know, uh, paint booth and stuff like that, but it came out pretty decent. It came out like, I want to say a good 9 out of 10, honestly. my my, I don't know how I ended up doing that really good, but it came out really good. So uh, with this side, I already cut up the stock quarter panel. You can't really see under here. You can kind of see, but I already cut that off. I cut it up to here, so basically just did a full line like this, just so I can get like good... Uh, Good fitment with this one. I also trimmed this over fender as well in here so I can fit better wheels in here. Uh, left this much. This is really not that big of a deal. I might just hammer this in so, you can, so it won't see that much. And then I uh, got everything riveted on legitimately this time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just grind on the rivets a little bit, bond over it on each of them so they all look like they're all OEM panels. I mean, you can't, you won't be able to, I mean, you'll be able to tell because of this, but still, just to make it look a lot more nicer and cleaner. Um, I'm still debating within, I think like three different colors. First I was debating on, I think red or something like that, but I'm not going to do red at all. So I'm either thinking of doing the OEM, uh, bluish FN2 color of this one. That's the color code, but this is the OEM color for this one. That, either the same black that I did the S13 or a midnight purple. So I'm really debating on what I want to do. I still just got to order the grid covers. My hood latches because the hood doesn't seem to stay closed. So that's the little things I need. I already got my wheels. I just got to get the tires. <coughs> I'm going to be running uh, Federal RS double R's. I'm running a more meaty fitment. So hopefully I can fit nice meat under these fenders without breaking anything. Hopefully. But um, yeah, I got this side done. I actually got the gas tank to fit in here too. You know, you just got to push it out a little bit and get it over. And it stays on. Closes same thing so that's actually pretty cool because I didn't want the whole thing to be sunk in all the way or stuff like that so I just got this to fit like as decent as possible doesn't look that bad got my tail lights installed uh, I think before I paint the black the, the whole car black or whatever color I'm painting here the color that I'm gonna actually do the car before I get everything else so that way it won't be different color under and you'll be able to see through the lines hopefully that doesn't happen and then I don't think I'm gonna do the five piece swap anytime soon because I'm still trying to re register the car. If any of you guys know about the whole <coughs> the whole 10 year, uh, it resets with the registration because uh, it's been like a long time and they can't really seem to find the files after that. So they kind of just reset the whole thing and you just got to pay at least like one year of back fees, if anything, because this car has been sitting uh, with another guy since 2009. The car runs and drives fine. It's just the guy just didn't register since, left it sitting in his garage. So uh, uh, the car hasn't been registered since 09. I have back fees since then, so I mean this car, I'm looking at like almost, 
I'm looking at almost like 1200 1300 dollars worth of registration smog and all that so I'm not really trying to do that so if you guys know anything about that please let me know uh, I might maybe tomorrow if I have time which I probably won't but maybe maybe Sunday or another day I'm gonna cut this side so I haven't cut this side up this side's actually still good but it's a little bit pushed in right here too so that's kind of why I'm saying I don't really care about the whole cutting it because I'm only gonna feel too bad that it's really clean quality OEM panels so that wasn't a big deal but this is uh my old panel somewhere over here that's my old quarter panel <laughs> that's how I ended up I got the rest of my kit back here uh, this is what I trimmed off the over fender so imagine this is how thick it was on the inside so I trimmed all of this out so I can actually fit wheels and I just have a cool over fender they can't fit anything in it so um, I also painted the bash bar for the S13 because we're going with the whole black and green theme on it I'm gonna show you the cars right now it came out fucking nice oh, we're actually setting up for a break day tomorrow but um this is the S13 so we painted it uh, super jet black which is what it's called uh, trunk didn't come out too good it was plastic dip before but there's still a really good reflection for it being plastic dip uh, not now, but I mean it was before and the way I kind of just sanded down. I got to just as close as I could with it, but it still came out a little bit blurry. Not too bad. Um, painted the whole chassis and everything so it can all look reflective too. This too, her cokey tails that came with the car. But this is where it gets really good. This is a rear quarter panel. It's really nice, glossy and reflective. It's actually really dirty right now. There's so much dust in it, so... If it doesn't look that good is because it's dirty but it came out really 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 good so for it being a backyard thing it came out really nice so that's uh so that's just like the results of it um the hood i messed up i believe right here a little bit looks a little bit dull but if you look at that and then look over here it looks good and then it gets dull and good again that's because i was being really i was hurry, i was getting hurried up because it was like I think like 3 in the morning when I was finishing painting this up, so that kind of messed me up a little bit. Uh, the whole roof, I did everything. I did all the trims all around the whole thing, so everything looked like it's all brand new. Did all the window trims, everything. Uh, took out the mirrors, did all that. I did uh, door jams as well, so it won't look like it's a shitty paint job. And uh, yeah, so everything looks really good on it. Let me squeeze by through here. Everything came out really, really good. It sucks. It looks way better in person. You guys will probably see this whenever you guys see us out driving one day. But, yeah, this came out really good. Again, for it being a, um, you know, like a, a backyard type of thing. So, it came out really, really, really good. So, I'm thinking of doing my car this color as well. But, right now, I'm working on this car. It's a, it's a friend of mine's. We're doing a uh, big country labs wing. It's going to be sitting all the way up to here. So, this is his car that I'm going to be doing right now. <laughs>